So we have arrived, we found some parking down this smaller alley. Oh, I'm in a new quarter of Chiang Mai, an area that I don't often explore. I've only passed by maybe on bicycle, but today coming in the car with Lee, it's cool. It just gives me a new appreciation for how big of a city Chiang Mai is, how densely populated. But something I appreciate of all of Thailand is also how lush everywhere is. Like just, actually, this is, check this out. This is a rose apple tree right there. So we are in the city, but walking down even side streets like this, so full of people, at the same time, it is so full of nature. Just look at all the greenery. You can just name your fruit trees, name your flowers all around here. So that was a rose apple tree. Look at these beautiful flowers. So even though we are in the city, there is still so much lushness all around. I just love how green Thailand always is. I just love it. So we are here outside Kwetiao Sam Bat. Kwetiao noodles. Sam is three and then baht. Kwetiao Sam Bat. So every bowl of noodles here is gonna be three baht, which is 10 cents US. So yes, you can order not, not just a stomach full, a belly full, but a table full of noodles still on such a budget. I cannot wait to see also what our entire table looks like full of noodles. Just, we're gonna, we're gonna overflow our table. Lee, she said she is hungry and Lee is a noodle addict. So I know we are gonna order a huge amount of noodles. So just wanna show you the outside. I'm gonna put on my mask. We are gonna get inside this restaurant. Oh man. <laughs> so what table are you? What table are we? What a beautiful, simple menu. And beautiful number. It is blazing hot. And part of the love of noodles definitely comes with some sweat as well. It's inevitable. They come together and you are just gonna learn to love that memory. Okay, so we are at Po Bat, table number eight. This is the menu, Rai Kanahan. So that is one type of broth. They also have which is a clear broth. They have the pork blood broth and the clear broth. You order your noodles. They have wide noodles, which are called sen yai. They have the thin noodles called sen lek. And then they also have sen mi, which are the fine, like the hair noodles, the angel hair noodles. They have pork, chicken, and beef. I love how simple this is looking already. And then they have the meatballs, which are called mu chin. Any instructions here? Any noodles that you want to get takeaway, you have to order more than just three baht. They do have another thing that I didn't know about, khao soi, and I saw up there they also have the satay, the sticks. So we definitely got to try some of those, but the, the main thing you're going to come for here is that, that three baht bowl of noodles and just order one of everything. Why not? They also have a drinks menu, tea, coffee, or traditional Thai black coffee. They have soda and they have water. So. Order. That's just—it's just a beautifully simple menu. Yes, it is all in Thai, but basically that is every option and variation you could get at this restaurant. At the heart of it, it is very simple. You pick your noodle, you pick your broth, you pick your meat, and then you sit down. Here, you can—you can really try one of every single thing on the menu. And no one. We are going to do oh. three. <laughs> okay, someone is hungry. I'm going to go order. See you soon.
I love the atmosphere in here. It is just like electric energy, right? And we are we are all here for the same thing, to just show our love of noodles and just, yeah, seriously throw down. Okay, so I told you there were 11 different options and I did order one of each, but that is only 11 options with beef. They also have chicken and they also have pork. So actually to have one of everything to come with your partner, you would actually need 66 bowls of noodles, which is pretty impressive. I don't think we can handle 66 bowls of noodles. Even if they are small, they're not that small. So over there I see a whole table, a whole family. It looks like they did manage the full 66, but they have like nine people. So Lee and I, we are gonna do our best. I think I have about 30 bowls of noodles here. So just an example. This is the soup. Nam tok. These are the noodles. Sen yai, sen lek, sen mi. And then with the, the different soup, the nam sai, I also ordered one of each. So just already there, that's 24 bowls. One for me, one for Lee. That's 24 bowls, and that's not even... That's only picking one kind of meat for both. Also, they have two other dishes that are not the white rice noodle. This is familiam, which is the yellow, the egg noodle. And then they also have khao soy, which also uses an egg noodle. Finally, a bonus, they have uh, satay. So we definitely got to try a set of satay skewers. Probably, yeah, we are going to be very full, but probably this is going to be an amazing meal. I cannot wait. <laughs> Lee was in there getting in some of the vibes, some of the energy in that kitchen. And yeah, I'm I'm wondering, is it one person just taking care of everything at lightning speed or is it is it a team? And Lee said it's a team, two people in front, one person uh, also shipping out all the orders, taking it to all these tables. And yeah, just try to appreciate how many thousands of bowls of noodles they are serving every single day. So in here right now, I'm sure there are more than 100 people. And if you average maybe 10 bowls a person, that's already a thousand bowls of noodles. Just crazy. And I'm sure that's every hour. So wow, this, this is a noodle paradise. It is just a factory of noodle dreams. Out here, visit Kwetiao Sambat and yeah, see what you've got. Man, it's getting to that point when every time the girl carrying the noodles, every time she walks over, you're just like, that has to be ours. Is that ours? That has to be? Yeah, so it is, it is a... <laughs> It is a place where you're going to have to exercise a little bit of patience. I do remember when I lived in the US, it's normal to wait like 30 minutes for your food. But in Thailand, like if the food isn't here in two minutes, you think, is something wrong? Did they forget our order? Yeah. So here we've waited like 10 minutes and we're like, more than 10 minutes. Okay. <laughs> it's just funny, the comparison. That is incredible. They are not small bowls of noodles either. That is incredible. So at first I was thinking like, oh, maybe maybe if they're three baht, like what if you pour 10 of them together? Because the normal price of noodles is like 30 baht, right? On the street, just tamada, which is normal, right? Order a plate of sate, order the skewers first because they are gonna come first because it comes from another kitchen. So we got all the yellow noodles here and we got a Chut, which means one set chut, of satay skewers. Oh. Oh. That's so cool. What a delivery, right? That's so cool. This is only half of our order, so what are we gonna do? So you have the special orders over here, and then you have the egg noodle. We got four of them. And then these, maybe 12 so far, I guess. These are all the rice noodles over here. So, I don't even know what to say anymore. We better get started. Thanks for hanging out with us. Again, this is Kwe Tiao Sam Ba, Yang Mai. Some of the dishes have these yellow egg noodles. Also, a bonus, we got some khao soy, one with chicken, one with beef. And then over here we have the sape. They come with two sauces, shallots with chilies. And then, oh yeah, the khao soy comes with, of course, the traditional the pickles and uh, the red onions. Man, there's just so much going on. Okay, I'm gonna get to seasoning. Let's pick which one is gonna be our spicy bowl. So I'm just gonna season 
not at random here, but I'm gonna make one of them on purpose. Very spicy. Gotta taste the flavor of those specific chilies, right? And then let's try another one, the khao soi. So I'm just gonna go <clears throat> tablespoon of chili on that one. Thank you. Lovers unite. Oh man, I can say without a doubt I have never seen this many noodles. Just for the two of us, no way. This is incredible. More than 30 bowls of noodles on our table. We have a wonderful job to do. So reaching over here for some vinegar. The vinegar comes with some onions, with some chilies, and this is Lee's preferred ingredient. And then I'll just give a quick dollop to these bowls over here. So that works better with the nam sai, this clear broth, and then the chilies work better, in my opinion. You gotta find your own way. The chilies work better with the nam to broth. So, one, two, three. Oh man, I think we can easily finish this entire serving to go with all these noodles. Wow, this is incredible. Okay. So this one is the mi kao, white, fine noodles. It's also rice. I put some vinegar in that. You can see the pork, you can see green onions, and then yeah, that clear broth. And just think how big the mother pot of all that soup stock must be. Wow. Mm, very clean, porky. So with one gigantic bite of noodly, porky goodness, you can actually finish an entire bowl of noodles. Mm. The texture is great. The noodles, obviously, they are as pro as it gets to getting that consistency, that blanching of the noodles exactly right. I'm gonna go over here to the Sen Lek, the small noodle. It's about the same diameter as a spaghetti noodle. It's made with rice. This one, I also flavored with vinegar, and it's that same, that num sai, that pork broth. Mm. Let's try another one of those. Mm. If anything, that texture is even better than the sen mi. The, the sen let just has this like slurpability that just, it doesn't compare with any other noodle. You have that perfect, perfect diameter of the noodle that just allows, yeah, slurpability is a great word. Let me try just the one more type. Here we go, the sen yai. So, again, pork, that same broth, that nam sai broth, but this one, they give some, Oh, you know what, that's the beef, excuse me. So we got beef, but it's trying that third type of noodle, that senya. So there's the wide white rice noodle in this one. And you know what, for that final bite, to complete the three, I need some chilies. Let's see if I can do it. Three bowls in three bites. Oh no. They kind of stuck together at first. I broke them apart. Let's see if we can do it. Mm. 
uh, really dry chili. Just hits you right in the back of the throat. Exciting things to the level that you want. The sweat has started. Wow. But the meal, the meal has barely begun. Okay, so I get it. You stack the bowls. So that's my first trio done. Just move it to the side and keep rolling. Okay, so Lee has joined me on this side of the table. We are gonna try that satay. I dipped for both of us in that peanutty sauce. It's gonna be sweet, obviously. It's very thick. Cheers. Yeah, oily, tangy. Mm. You got some smokiness on the pork. Moussape is the name of this. And you know, it's one of the few times in Thailand when you will have a peanut sauce. I know Thailand might be famous for this idea, but no, in Thailand, this is one of the rare times when you will have a peanut sauce. Oh, she, she is digging in. That's how fast they can go. That's a good job. You. you just need to prioritize efficiency. Mm. Where's a spoon? That's a thing. It really is awesome. I'm going to try with some of the chilies, the cucumber, and the red onions. Spoon, chilies, shallots, green cucumber. You swoop, you dip, you go for it. Mm. Mm. It's every flavor in one combo. Sweetness and richness from the sauce, the brightness, the crunch, even the, the nasal feeling from all those onions, the chilies, the fire. Mm. Even the fattiness, there is a See that little piece of fat that comes at the base of every bite of satay? Mm. This chili actually spicy. Back to the noodles. It is actually spicy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know I need to hold my own here because Lee really is the noodle champion out of the two of us. This is not great as one bite. This is great as one bite. Oh, one bite. That's awesome. Not great as one bite. Great as one bite. so far. Nine. So nine bowls of noodles so far. Not even touch food. Yeah. Wow, okay. You have some send me. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the yellow egg noodles right now. And feel that sweat for sure. Yeah both of us so sweating hot. already. Yeah. So the egg noodles come in a larger bowl and they have more stuff in them. They have some pork meatballs, they have some cabbage, oh, green onions, cilantro, clear broth, and I added in vinegar to this one. Did you try the egg noodles yet? I can try. Almost. You're close. They're close at, oh, there you go. Just swap. <laughs> See, we're already actually finished with all the chilies on the table. Mm -hmm. The noodle tasty, or if you have something more tasty. Yeah, the noodles, each bowl is very simple, so it, you find which formula works for you, and then you just go at it, get after it, and slurp, slurp away. <laughs> Sweet. I know you like the rice noodle more. 
Yeah, it is. Noodle Lobo Paradise. Three bag can try all the different, different noodle, different ingredient, and you can try this one. I put curry. That one I put ginger. This one I mix both. This one is pure. <laughs> okay, so we finished one third of the way. So we finished 11 bowls so far. A standing noodle. <laughs> A standing noodle. So it is one bite per bowl, but it is a gigantic bite. If you were being a little bit more slow, showing some table manners, I think two bites would be perfect. Two bites or one? <laughs> okay. Has to be one bite. Has to be one bite. That's so crazy. With 11 bowls already finished, there's still that many bowls on the table. That's beautiful. Do you want to try the coleslaw? Yep. One is chicken, one is beef. I want beef. Okay. This is the way. Mmm. <laughs> They're good, but not in Paris. That's the color image, the flavor you can imagine. That's it. It's not like super impressed, but they're good. Nam Tho, which means waterfall, but it refers to that pork blood based soup. Very rich, so aromatic, so meaty. Mm. It's just so fun. It's so fun. It's not only the variation in the noodles. The meatballs are also chicken meatballs, pork meatballs, and beef meatballs. So they each have their own levels of bounciness. You can identify them by the color, but it is fun feeling the different textures of the noodles. I'm so impressed by how much they give. Yeah. Because if you put 10 of those together, right, it would yeah. be 30 baht. No. It would be way more than 30 baht yeah. of way, way more. It's like a huge bowl. Yeah. One thing, they don't have napkins here. So you got to remember, when you start to sweat, you start to sweat, you don't have napkins. So let me make room here. Next up, I'm going for that kalsai. I see it's also been sitting there for a few minutes, so let me rehydrate this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The first egg noodles I had were pretty thick. No, these are like, wow, dude, these are like straight up, yeah, Italian, what is that called, linguine? Those are so thick, it looks so rich. The broth itself, so mild. That's why you have chili oil, everyone. The pig pao is gonna light this up perfectly. So I already put in the mustard greens and the onions. I'm just stirring it up just to mix that broth, that curry broth back into all those noodles and resaturate them. Let me get a little taste while I'm reaching for some chili oil. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. They are delicious, but you also absolutely need need to season it with some chili oil. Mm. Just a little sweeter than I would like, but it is good. You're right; it's very good, and for only and for only twenty five baht, that is not three baht, but it is still super cheap. Twenty five baht for a drumstick and a whole bowl of khao soy. 25 baht is still pretty cheap. The 
This is so much fun. little drumstick right there. Whew. I'm getting full. I'm getting full for sure. It's going to be a messy, noisy marathon to finish all these. It's a good thing we're up for the challenge today. Mm. We still have 12 more bowls. So that means we have finished 18. Wow. So it's the, it's the third of the three rounds, starting now. Go. Can see some sweat on my brow for sure. Yeah, I am full, but also it is approaching 1 p.m. The amount of people here has lessened a little bit, but that, that kitchen is still going full steam. To catch up, there are also grab orders outside. So, the local delivery service now. Man, yeah, this is just a noodle, noodle factory producing tons of noodles, but also, I'm sticking with what I said, it's also a factory producing noodle dreams. It is, yeah, it's just fun. Just come here, jam, jam with your friends, jam down on some noodles. The cow soy is good, but you know what? You don't come here for the cow soy. You come here for the white rice noodles in huge quantities. I just cannot believe how full. This is gonna be like, aside from a buffet, this is gonna be the most full that I will ever be for under 100 baht, for sure, for sure. Mm. That's it, we have finished the entire serving of chilies that they prepared for the table. So after maybe 10 tablespoons of pig pao, I am, I'm in a daze, but it is glorious. So I found that if you eat a sate, it definitely cools you down. And noodle round three is well underway. The end is in sight. Keep going. Okay, I would actually say, though, that this stack is mostly Lee's work. The five big bowls right there are mine. So 17 and five. So that means we have we have nine more dishes to go, and I guess maybe eight and a half. I'm almost done with these. Sape. <laughs> these, these really are so tasty, but yeah, you wouldn't come here for these. These are just a delicious, Kind of, oh yeah, the pre, this is to stop you from getting too impatient when you come. And the cow soy, it is good, but these two dishes are not why you come here. The rice noodles are where it's at, and we are still just running through, <laughs> slowing down a little bit, but running to the end of this marathon of white rice noodles at Guetiao Samba. Mmm, that perfect bit of sliminess. The wide white rice noodles, green onions, a little bit sweet from the pork, the deep fried shallots. Wow. Mm. Wow. How full are you now? Sleepy. Sleepy. You know, I read on the reviews, mm -hmm. some people said you couldn't come here and just order one, you have to order sets of five. So they have not kept that. So uh, as of March 2022, you can order just one by one. But it might take a long time if you make a complicated order. And as I found out when I was ordering myself, good luck writing all that information. It is easier to just order like thin white rice noodle, clear soup, five, you know, or like pork, wide white rice noodle, five. It is simpler to order that, but you can order just one by one. So, my mom, for example, who isn't isn't interested in testing herself to eat 12 bowls of noodles, she really could come here and order four and go one by one. She really could do that, and she would spend 12 baht. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You could, and she would definitely be full. I know my mom. She would be happy and satisfied with 12 baht. So that's 35 cents U.S. 
Actually, the noodle here yeah. very children friendly. Oh, that's awesome. Because like it would be very fun with kids. Yeah. Because like kids eat two bowls, and then they don't need to separate from amongst the huge bowl. Mm -hmm. I found where most of the chili oil went. I forgot. I made this one super spicy. Man, and anyone who is saying that they would come here and not be full. I mean, no way. It is not a gimmick. They really give you incredible value for your money. Look at all those noodles. I've had, I think, I've had in Bangkok normal size, you know, not ordering piset, which is super size, ordering tamada, normal size noodles that were that size of noodles. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And, and that was 35 baht, you know, 30, maybe 40 baht. We're almost there. Just four more to go. Oh, okay. You see someone you know? Okay, one final thing to notice before we finish our 31 bowl of noodle marathon. I will, I will tell you honestly, they are not trying to just take every bot from you. They are not cheating you on the amount of noodles that they serve by any means, but even this. Coming around, she let us pay for this afterwards when there's a sign up there that says you have to pay for this first. You know, they are forgiving the girls serving the water. The ice costs one baht, by the way. And she's not being strict with that. So it's, uh, in English, there's a saying called nickel and diming you, trying to get every single bit of money that they can from you. So maybe they advertise a low price, but they actually take every single thing. I don't even feel like that at all here. It really is just, a fun place to have a table full of noodles and at a crazy cheap price. It's like a small community on the on the edge of downtown, and it it really is it really is a fun Another place. Another yeah, crazy what thing is yeah. Like, yeah. since COVID, everything raised the price. Oh, that's like, right. The very obvious is now the patches raise the price so much and like the water or like just like normal daily stuff everything raised the price but this how many years they still keep streaming you know what i remember now we came here in the middle of the covid restriction time and we we really wanted to make a video here but we didn't want to sit so close in amongst people right just for safety you are super close with it a hundred people in here okay so i get it but i remember you said something like oh we might have missed our chance to have quit the outside when we come back it yeah. might be quit the outside yeah. because of the price rate so what you yeah. just said is yeah and now they still not raise the price how many yeah. years yeah when everything are raising the price but they still keep the same and a month, months of the yeah. stuff, they still serving the same thing. I am stuffed. I'm even having to, to like catch my second wind to finish the final two each right yeah, here. I'm not gonna one bite. I'm yeah. not gonna one yeah. bite. We're too full for the one I'm bite anymore. Full. <laughs> but we can make it. Mm -hmm. mm. One thing I have to say. <laughs> come here. When we come here, we are so hungry. Mm. And no matter how many to order, I say, easy, I can eat a whole cow. But when almost to the end, it's like tortures. <laughs> because I'm full, but we can make it. <laughs> but really, just like when you're so hungry, mm. I think I can eat everything. Anything and not you enough. Order, you will finish. Not enough. Yeah. I can still eat more. But when you almost to the end, oh come on, what I'm doing? Why I need to order so much? We can make it. When, when we first sat down, I wrote that first menu. I got two of everything, so we got 22 bowls. And then when it had finally arrived, we said. No, no, because it had just arrived. We're so hungry. And she I said, say, no, get one, one more. Yes, yeah. Just one bite. No, so I don't know. So remember, there are two special ones. So that was the two. So we got nine more. So we got three sets, one of everything, and then the two specials, the satay and the... Uh -huh. So 
31 bowls of noodle. But, yeah, it really is a mission to finish. So I've got two more, two more bites. I think you are happy that I have to drive home. <laughs> so we have over here eight. Oh, sorry, seven, six, thirteen, and then here we have seventeen. So where's? Oh yeah, this one. Okay, so this is one. Is that what we have? No, no, no. We have more than that. I'm not helpful right now. Okay. I'm, I'm not helpful. I'm just trying to guess how much it's going to be. I guessed one ninety nine, but I think we had more than I thought. So the satay is fifty. The cow soy we had two, so that's another fifty. A hundred. The pamilirang we had four, and they are ten baht each, so that's one forty. So those seven items are one forty, and then. Uh, 31 minus 7, so 24. All the remaining 24 are 3 baht each. So 24 times 3, 72. So it was 140, 72, 212 baht for all of that. 212 baht is less than $7. <laughs> it's about to be $17 though, because we're going to pay $10 for a room over there and take a nap before we have to drive home. Should I factor that into the cost of this video? <laughs> oh man, we have the car keys, we have the car. We are here for a total of two hours and 45 minutes. Probably 45 minutes waiting, and then maybe 90 minutes eating, and 15 minutes messing around. What do you have here? Uh, tope. Oh, I forgot that, so maybe 217. Oh, yeah. They have digestion tablets in the front. What a genius idea. Yeah. Very Most smart. Indigestion. Very smart. Okay, that's okay. 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 Okay, so 167, so I have to pay 50. 50 over over there. Okay, so I don't know. This is a place where they work hard. Man. <laughs> please, please. Hey, she takes care of me for hundreds, literally hundreds of videos. So I'm happy to be the one the first time leading her out of this the first restaurant. Time today. I had this experience. At the beginning, so exciting and hungry. Yeah. At the end, oh, I just want to lay down, but so hot outside. Hey, this is a. This is. From the happiness to tortures. <laughs> this is a first for me. This I'm, is the lesson. I'm full, but. This, <laughs> I'm full, but this is a first where, where I had to rely on her to finish. I just don't love noodles as then much as she hungry. does. Are you hungry? Yeah. Don't think you can eat a cow. <laughs> just think of half cow, half cow. <laughs> Half a cup, don't think you can eat a whole cup. It's too much. So all the 22, I said, come on, 22, no, I want more. And then, so I order another 9 or 8 at the end. I need to eat my spoken. Yeah. I need to eat my spoken. <sighs> this is not the way. <laughs> You're full of awesome quotes right now. <laughs> okay, we are back at the car. I need to take a take a break to just put myself in a sober mindset to drive. She's about to lean against the car. She's about to fall asleep. Everyone, everyone, it has been a treat out here. Uh, again, we are northeast of Chiang Mai. We are at a place called Kuitiao Samban. And today we experienced the scene of just the magnificence of noodles in Thailand. That's all. That's all I've got. Wishing you just all the best, all the good vibes, all the tasty noodles in your dreams. <laughs> Wherever you are in the world today, have a great day. See you next time. Peace. Later. <laughs>